I have been working on this production of Stero fish for start from 2013. So as the background I have and then the need of industry that I try to put everything together, try to find out the method to, to uh, make it happen. And this is the model my group is very focused on. In the early stage, I collaborated with a Norwegian group. I had to fly to Norway. After you pass the custom, there's another security check. And this guy just going to be very detailed to asking you, what did you do in Norway? And I say, I'm working on fish research. What kind of fish research? Oh, control reproduction. What, what kind of reproduction you control? <laughs> so I told him, I tried to make a store of fish. Store of fish, what kind of fish? Atlantic salmon. Why you want to make store of fish? Our population is growing, we need more fish to eat. <laughs> why you are making stir of fish? Okay. <laughs> so I start to tell him why, and now I'm going to tell you about why. So there are several factors involved in why saturation is a benefit for the, the aquaculture. Firstly, sexual maturation, which means that they had to put energy into gonadal development. So now all the energy gained into fish, they will be converted to support gonadal development. And then once the gona develop, you will see that gona is between swimming brother and the GI tract. They push GI tract, so fish will reduce their, their intake of the feed. So all the growth are all down. And some case much worse is that they even will convert the nutrient stored in the flesh, in the muscle, to support gonadal development. The flesh quality goes down. So that's when they find the fish are early mature, the flesh quality is no longer good. So this happening also is not an early step, it's actually at the very end of your production cycle. You put all the effort in and then you open the fish, they are all mature, or you at the end you see that it's actually mature. And that is a big loss for farmer. This is going to happen in Samoan culture, even in, in open sea catch, 20-30%, in rice it's 80%. Why is 80%? Rice is very uh, optimized condition, so you optimize the feeding enough or a little bit over nutrient input to, to the fish and the temperature is going to be higher too because they, they find the optimal condition is the growth rate will be pushed to optimal. And this factor, particularly these two factors, will push the, uh, the early maturation happen much often and high percentage in rust system. So the rust will in, encounter this early maturation much worse than open sea cage if we don't solve the problem. So how to prevent this? Uh, there's another method that use that traditional use. One is the photo period. So the long photo period, long daylight cycle can inhibit uh, sexual maturation, but it's not a very successful. Another approach will be using all female that as a culture uh, will be good for rest. May I have more of this kind of early maturation problem and most of the 80% that we see happen to male. And now I think this is all only the, the current solution that we have for rest, use all female. But in some rare case, uh, female also sexually mature in the rest system. And so eventually that once the uh, rest system continue to optimize, we are going to see more female will be sexually mature earlier. To mitigate this problem in a very effective way is that if you use reproductive sterile fish, you don't have sexual maturation problem at all because gona is gonna going to develop. In the farming industry, we need to grow much more salmon. Reproductive sterile salmon will provide environmental control. It's a genetic containment. So sterile fish also play a role in ecology uh, friendly and environmental friendly. You catch a reproductive sterile of fish, in, instead of you just catch your normal fish, they escape, they interbreed with the wild stock or they continue to proliferate themselves. And this will be one of them that environmentalists will be like to see. Third benefit is that the sea production company, the hatchery, they like farmers come back to buy the sea every time from them. So they want to control their intellectual property. And if they can make this product sterile to the farmer. So this technology is come out to be benefit to all the group in their way. Commercially operation company and farmer like it. And environmental management also they like it. So 
It's very rare you can see this kind of the technology will benefit to all the three groups. Basically, now the approach we, we have is that we understand uh, molecular mercury and control the early gym cell development and there are some very essential steps and that's why my, my laboratory or my team is specialized and try to understand how gonadal development is controlled and we will find a way to try to practice uh, gonadal development and differentiation.